Hi again. Uh, welcome to chapter six, apply what you know uh, video. We have a couple questions for this uh, exercise. As usual, uh, please stop here and uh, look at the questions and uh, try to do it yourself and, and come back. Now, uh, assuming that you worked on your question, let's let's look at the question. Now, uh, it seems this uh, property has 200 rooms. And based on the historical data below, can we accept a group request for 100 rooms two weeks from now on Monday? At what price? Uh, just to give you an information, you don't really need to know for the solving this question. But first, this is a trailing 12-week average. So basically, we are looking at the last 12 weeks, last 12 weeks of Monday, last 12 weeks on Tuesday, etc. Right. So the question is, uh, uh, can, can, should we sell these rooms to the group and uh, uh, at what price? And there are some uh, possible answers here. So we need to choose one. As usual, let's start with the calculating revenue per available in this case. Just to clarify, let's not forget there are two ways to calculate revenue uh, per available room, right? We can calculate the revenue per available room, getting total revenue divided by uh, total uh, the, the, the available rooms, or we can multiply occupancy time ADR. So there are two different ways. Let's do the calculation with without group sale. And let's calculate the revenue first. So the revenue is going to be, so we have a 200 rooms times the occupancy times the ADR is going to give us the total revenue. Let's also calculate the revenue per available. I'm mean, actually, that is already here, so we don't need to calculate. We just got copy here. And let's do the same thing <coughs> with group. Sale. Now, we need two different revenues, right? With uh, first uh, revenue is going to be non-group sale revenue. Actually, let me move here to make it easier. And uh, non-group sale revenue is equal to hundred rooms times. ADR. Now you might be wondering why is 100 rooms some ADR? If you are going to sell 100, ro 100 rooms to group, then we have only 100 rooms left. And if the average ADR is 178.25, then we need to uh, multiply 100 rooms, which is available for non group sale, because uh, with the 88% occupancy, even if we sell 100 rooms to group, you're gonna still sell out to all other rooms, so we're gonna sell all uh, whole uh, hundred rooms, which is the price of one seventy eight to uh, five. Now, second thing we need to calculate is because the price is not given in this example. What is the minimum group revenue we need? Okay. Now, without group sale. We are making $31,372, okay? If we get minus, uh, I cannot, hold on. Let me move here. Minus 100. The non-group uh, sales revenue is going to give us, we need to get at least minimum $13,547. So when we add non-group sales and the group revenue is minimum is going to be this amount the, without the group sale. However, one thing we need to calculate is the minimum room rate. Minimum room rate. Okay. Now, because we need uh, $13,547 and the 100 rooms, we need to have at least, I mean, in this case, uh, they just uh, uh, rounded up, but 
B is the correct because we need at least $135.50 just to get the uh, total revenue without the group sale. But let's not forget, we repeated this many times, right? If you recall, in this case, first, in the considering the occupancy rate, we, the, without the group, we, we are selling 176 rooms. With the group, we are selling all rooms, 200. So we need to think about the cost as well, right? Because in this case, we are also spending more money to cleaning and prepping for 24 rooms. But at the same time, we need to also consider how much the selling additional 24 rooms going to bring. Now, four, two approaches. Four, for you to think as a revenue manager. But from the research, I mean, the not research, but the question perspective, what is given, you need to focus only on the what is giving, in which is, you need to get at least minimum $135.47 each room from this group to get the exact the same revenue. So in this case, answer was B. Okay, for the second question, uh, Nigar Patel prepares a daily rooms forecast report that is shared with the housekeeping, food and beverage, and front desk managers of the 200 room comfort inn. She both owns and manages. Today is Monday. Help Nigar complete uh, Tuesday's rooms forecast report using the following information she has compiled from historical re records, current PMS data, and her own insight into room sales related events like to occur today. When you have completed the forecast, answer the questions that follow. How many rooms does Nigar forecast will be occupied? Nigar's occupancy percentage, forecasted ADR for the night, and asking for total room revenue. And Giving the forecasted ADR, what is the rep, what is going to be? As usual, please calculate this on your own and, and, and come back here. Now, hopefully you calculated that. Let's go over the question. Now, uh, not available room is, because there is no change, uh, 200. And how many rooms sold or sold? Okay, 85 people is already staying there and 60 people are coming. So... 85 plus 60 and to this number we need to do some adjustments okay first let's do this this number plus because the overstays means people supposed to leave but they didn't so we add them but people are left early so we get minus this number and also there was no shows and minus this number okay 146 so the answer to the question is uh, first one is going to be basically 146 and second one is the occupancy which is simple we got what we have divided by 200 rooms let's make this nicer uh, let's make this percentage okay and C is assuming, okay, if the ADR is 169, 160.99, what will be revenue? So if sold 146 rooms, time 169.9, which is gonna, let's make this also currency. Currency, okay. And last question is giving her forecasted ADR what will the her forecasted repar okay there is two ways to calculate that first one is we get the total revenue divided by 200 okay and one other method is going to be uh, if you recall uh, I, I repeated uh, several times that you just take the num uh, uh, you got the percentages times you can get the 160.99. Okay, it gives the both the same number. Let's make this also currency. Okay, so one is the getting total room revenue divided by the total room available. Second one is the occupancy times ADR. Okay, thank you for watching.